program started in your school or home, let's talk about how this process actually happens. Food waste is made up of organic compounds. That means in general, a complex molecule containing many different elements, including carbon. In its whole form, these molecules are no good to the soil. But as they decay, they break down into elements like nitrogen, phosphate, potassium, and minerals that are essential for growing plants. Now, in a normal composting operation, it can take months for materials to break down into elements. You start with organic material. As it starts to decompose, it gives off energy in the form of heat, sometimes as high as 150 degrees Fahrenheit. It can also give off energy in the form of gases, which in some cases can make the process smell and attract flies and rodents. Finally, after six months to a year, the material is broken down into its basic elements, nitrogen, potassium, phosphate, and so on. From there, the plant absorbs these materials through its root system and converts it into the enzymes and amino acids that it needs to live. Throughout this process, the compost is giving off energy, and that means it's losing nutrients. The end product has less nutrient content than the material you started with. The EM technology method of composting streamlines this process. It happens over a period of about four weeks, start to finish, so you see the benefits much more quickly. In the first step, the material is fermented, which helps preserve it. This fermenting process takes about two weeks. It may help to think of a cucumber. If you leave it sitting out on a shelf, it will rot and start to smell in a couple of days. But if you put it in a jar of vinegar, it turns into a pickle and will stay fresh for months. Once the material is fermented, you dig it into the ground. Over the next two to four weeks, the compost will break down, but there are some big differences. The entire process from here only takes two to four weeks. No significant heat or gases are produced, meaning very little energy is used up in the process. Since very little energy is used during the process, the EM compost has a much higher level of nutrients than the traditional method. Also, the material doesn't break down quite as much as it does in regular composting. What happens is that it breaks down into smaller molecules, like amino acids and enzymes, that the plant can use right away. These compounds stay together because of the fermenting process that happened in step one. In 1996, EM Technologies formed the Bokashi Network, a nonprofit group dedicated to teaching the concept of sustainability in schools. These programs give students a chance to establish a connection between the soil, the ecosystem, and their role in improving the quality of the environment. I am very happy to hear about the activities of the EM Bokashi Network in Tucson, Arizona. As we live our daily lives, we all pollute our environment. As economies expand, the environment suffers. Therefore, it's vital for us to have an awareness of environmental issues. Each of us should do our part in helping to clean the environment. EM can help clean up the pollutants that are the main causes of environmental pollution. If we use EM, even food waste becomes a valuable resource that can be recycled back into the soil, producing healthy flowers and vegetables, cleaner air and revitalized soil. I believe that if people of all ages use EM, it will play a vital role in cleaning our environment and improving the quality of life. I am so grateful to hear that the EM Bokashi Network Outreach Program based in Tucson, Arizona is rapidly expanding throughout America. I believe the EM Bokashi Network grassroots movement will play a leading role in improving the quality of our environment. I really hope you enjoy participating in the EM Bokashi Network. Think about how much food is thrown away in your school every day. There's all the food that isn't eaten from the trays, plus all the leftovers the kitchen doesn't serve up. Try to imagine if they piled it up in the corner of your classroom every day. It wouldn't be long before you were looking for new classroom space. We're going to show you how to start a food waste recycling program in your own school and at home. We'll start with a home program, which will show you the basics of EM composting, and then talk about how to get a program running in your school. Composting with EM is a simple and down-to-earth process. First, you mix the kitchen waste with the compost starter. Second, you give the waste some time to ferment. And finally, you transfer the waste into the garden or planter. We'll go over each step in detail to get you started on the right path. 